only thing you absolutely have to know is the location of the library. A very hearty good morning to respected principal sir, teachers and all my dear schoolmates. Today, I am Muskan Patel and my friend Pinky Nazwani with our team are going to provide you some information about World Book Day and Copyright Day. We always have heard books are our best friend as a good book gives rise to positive thoughts in mind. It also gives rise to great learning which also contributes to being a good human being. Books also play a significant role in inspiring us to follow our hearts and overcome our mind difficulties like anxiety and fears. To honor the presence of books in our lives, we celebrate World Book Day on every year on 23rd April. The motive to celebrate this day is to raise and spread awareness about the roles of books plays in our life. Now let us compare World Book Day and Copyright Day in some short points. We request you all to have all ears while Pragya speaks. The World Book Day, also known as World Book Day and Copyright Day, is an event organized by UNESCO. It was first celebrated on 23rd April 1995. 23rd April is a symbolic date in the world of literature as it is the death anniversary of William Shakespeare and other prominent authors. Hence, UNESCO chose this date as a tribute to these authors. This day is celebrated to promote the enjoyment of reading books and also it is dedicated to authors, publishers and distributors to acknowledge their contribution. On this occasion, UNESCO and other international organizations select the World Book Capital for a year. World Book Day aims to promote creativity, diversity and equal access to knowledge, though a wide range of books. It is a time to celebrate the importance of reading, foster reading habit in young children and promote lifelong love for literature. The theme for World Book Day 2022 is You Are a Reader. Thank you for listening. Now let's listen to a beautiful song together. We hope you gain some knowledge from the presentation. Communicators. And great communicators make great persuaders. And you know what great persuaders make? They make good societies. And that's what this world needs. I think that it's totally crazy that all anyone ever talks about is games, TV shows, WhatsApp, Instagram, Bitmoji. I don't even know what that is. My brother just told me about it. WeChat, Kiki, Saraha, and I could go on forever. Studies have shown that some kids these days even spend six and a half hours on a screen a day. I think we should draw attention to this problem. However, not reading can even result in making your brain less active or engaged. Just over the past year, I've enjoyed reading When I Do by Carl May, the Harry Potter series with eight books, Roald Dahl series with 12 books, and the Unwanted series of seven books, and many, many single books in between. Some I've liked less, some I've liked more, but they all took me for such an adventure. As my family members, I'm a truly unhappy child when I don't have a good book to read right next to me. I love reading in places like my bed, on the move while walking, in the toilet, in queues, in vehicles, but more importantly, at home. I hide behind various corners of my house so nobody can find me and make me do anything else. Once I even hid behind a flower pot pretending to be the flower, not moving at all. Nobody could find me for ages. It was hilarious. I read everywhere. So, for all of you skeptical people out there, let me tell you, 
When you have a good book to keep you company, there is nothing better in the universe. It takes you to places where you can't go, and that's to meet people you can't meet. Reading is love in action. And the positives are endless. Like, I usually never have to study for spelling tests, and it makes my vocabulary so good that it easily impresses any grown-up. Sometimes, the first thing I know is that I just had a short conversation with the grown-up, and the next thing I know is there's a room full of adults talking about me. I can't imagine my life without a book. What I'm comparing is the lost art of reading, writing, communicating, and persuading to some of the great societal ills of the text message, the tweets, and the snap. While these wonders of modern technology have their place, we, the young generation, have to hold on to reading. It's the key to our kingdom. So go out there, find a good book, not just any book. The best are the ones recommended by another kid. And just go for it. It sheds light on journey of a boy from village of Rameshwaram to become a remote scientist. It is a detailed description of how great, how great things can be achieved through simple living. It reveals the extensive and detailed work of Dr. Kalam, the scientist who put in a significant contribution in country's guided missile program. As a reader, I found this book very interesting because because of the parts from his young age to a college student, how his family encouraged him. I would like to recommend this book to you all, just because this book is such a great inspiration for all the upcoming generation, as it inspires us that how one can achieve success even after having great difficulties. Thank you. Hello everyone, I am Gargi Singh of class 9 and here to share a book review. Title of the book is Black Beauty. Author is Anna Swell. Genre of the book is fiction. This is story Anna Swell written because she was very fond of animals. She wrote about the story of a horse named Black Beauty. He was, uh, he got a master who was very cruel and one time we got a master who was very good. Anna Swell tells, encourages the people that to be kind towards animals. Summary of the book is Black Beauty, the horse was happily living with his mother. When he turned four, he got sold to a man named Squire Gordon. He was very kind man. He had a very beautiful life there. He made so many friends. One of them was Ginger. He told about his old life. His master was very cruel and very bad to him, that his heart was filled with a lot of anger, hate and disappointment. One day, Squire Gordon sells his, all, sells his house and everything, even sells his horses too. Black Beauty was sold to a man this time who was very, very cruel. He understand why Ginger was so, why Ginger saying that his heart is filled with anger, hate and disappointment. Why would I recommend this book to others? Because this tells us that we need to be kind towards all the animals. Thank you. Good morning everyone. My name is Shivraj Mukhan and today I am going to give review of the novel The Animals. This novel was written by a famous Brazilian author Paulo Coelho in 1988. It is an international bestseller. It was initially written and published in Portuguese and has been translated to more than 70 languages. This novel is relatively short, having 167 pages only. The theme of this novel is about finding one's destiny or purpose in life. The Alchemist is a fantastic novel and the storytelling is beautiful. It is full of wisdom and philosophy. I like how the book emphasizes on the importance of hope faith and spirituality to the story of an ordinary boy. I think this book appeals to everyone to make their dreams come true. I, def I will definitely recommend all of you to read it once. Thank you.
guys for acknowledging us. Now, let's have a look on the skit prepared by class 12. On June 27th, 1880, a girl named Helen Edmus Killer was born in Tuscumbia, Alabama, in a white frame cottage called Ivy Green. Her parents were Captain Arthur Helen Keller and Kate Edmus Keller. First scene, Helen is two years old. Mrs. Keller enters the bedroom. Helen, Helen, wake up, sweetie. It's a beautiful day. Helen, what song? Wake up. Oh no, you have a high temperature. What's wrong? Why are you so stressed? It's Helen. She is burning. Again? I thought she was better, but the temperature is bad. I think we waited too long. I'll need to send someone for the doctor. A few minutes later, he comes back with the doctor. The doctor approaches Helen and starts to examine her. What's wrong with the doctor? First tell me, how much time did you wait before calling me? Well, I noticed that she was sick about two or three weeks ago, but the temperature disappeared. That's why I thought she was fine. Oh, you waited too long. Have you noticed anything different besides the temperature? What do you mean? Have you noticed a change in her behavior? Yes. Now that you mentioned it, she is not doing what I tell her to do. She is not even trying to speak. She has become a quiet little girl. Did you also notice that she doesn't blame? No, doctor. Look, I will show you something. Pay close attention to what I am going to do. She can't see or hear. But why? She had a fever for at least three weeks. Whatever made her sick made her deaf and blind. It can't be, doctor. It can't be. Give her medicine, please. There must be something you can do. What is it, doctor? It's called brain fever. I am afraid I can't do anything for her. Oh, Arthur. Third next scene, Helen is seven years old. Mrs. Keller and Mr. Keller are in the garden talking. I don't know what to do, Arthur. Helen is out of control. It's hard to discipline her. What did she do today? This morning, she refused to work. She doesn't want me to comb her hair. And she tried to feed the baby. She is a danger to her new baby sister. What are they going to do? She needs to learn to speak. She needs to express her feeling and emotions. That's why she is so angry. We must find someone who can help her. She can't see her here. How do you think she will be able to express herself? Oh please Arthur. She needs us. She needs help. Let's find someone please. I'll write some letters to the school for the blind. I hope they can send someone to help Helen. Thank you, Arthur. The next scene at the public school for the blind. The director, Engnos, is sitting in his desk with N.S. Sullivan. He has a letter in his hands. Let's see what happens next. Did you want to talk to me? They told me that it was urgent. It is Annie. I received this letter from Arthur and Henry Kiel. They have a seven years old daughter that is Jeff L. Roy. They are desperate because they can't communicate with her and she can communicate with them or anybody else. Oh, poor little girl. But what does it have to do with me? You are the best teacher I have. Remember, you were once blind. Yes. But I can see now after several operations. Helen will never hear or see. That's the difference between you and her. She has no hope. Do you understand, Annie? Do you want me to go? Do you think I'm qualified for this job? Yes, you are, Annie. That's why I'm sending you there. I've already brought your train ticket. What? But you should have asked me first. I knew I could count with you, Annie. When will I leave? You will leave tomorrow and by March 3, you will arrive to the Kelo Zone. Tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow. Go now and get your things ready. I hope that you are not making a mistake by sending me. I am not. 
I'm sure that will that you will bring the life to the killer's life. Let's see. Annie is at the killer's home. Helen is sitting outside. The killer's and Annie watches her from the distance. I'm glad you came, Miss. Miss Sullivan. My name is Annie Mansfield Sullivan. Well, Miss Sullivan, that's Helen. I don't know how she is going to react. I mean, to understand.